Your boxing bag. You see that? Floor ceiling bowl. What I ate for Christmas lunch. People say, what are you going to eat for Christmas lunch, Harley? What are you going to have for Christmas lunch? This is what I'm having for Christmas lunch. <laughs> the same as every fucking day, pretty much. Bananas. Today I'm trying a little different thing. A little organic ground cane sugar fair trade from Alter Eco. It's from the Philippines. It's about a pound. It's about $10 Australian. Mm. It's really fucking good. Mm. So good. So good. So, I know a lot of people are thinking, hang on. You having a fucking banana smoothie for Christmas lunch? How the fuck does that work, Harley? There's no way I could turn up to my family's event and have a banana smoothie when my auntie and uncle and nephews and nieces and grandmas and grandpas and cousins and second cousins, everyone's put all this effort into making all this Christmas fair and I'm having a banana smoothie. There's no fucking way I could do that, Harley. And I understand that. I relate to that. And that's the first rule of health is overcoming the rule of social disapproval. You might be like me and go, banana smoothie, that's the fucking best thing ever. A bit of sugar in there, or a bit of rice milk or whatever, mmm, that's fucking good shit. But you might be wanting to have that, but you're like, if I have that, I might offend everyone. My family's pretty open. They know what I'm, no, they know what I'm up to. And they wouldn't give a fuck if I turned up with a banana smoothie in tow or a vegan meal. At the start, for sure. But once people understand what you're doing, they're like, well, whatever. So what you got to do is you got to make that fucking first step, break the ice by bringing what you want to eat to your Christmas lunch or dinner, breakfast, whatever, or any of your festive occasions. You have to eat what you fucking want to eat. You don't have to get in a fist fight over anyone about it, but you just bring what you want to bring, eat what you want to eat, and it's done. Everyone else eats what they want to eat, so why the fuck don't you? Eating foods to impress other people is fucking stupidity. Doing things to impress other people that you don't want to do. Why do that? I don't do that. I don't recommend anyone does that. I walk my talk. I only do what I want to do. Simple as that. I only eat what I want to eat. So that's what I can recommend people is do what the fuck you want to do on Christmas dinner, lunch, breakfast, whatever. Do what you want to do every day. We don't really believe in Christmas. We respect that some people make a big deal of it. Merry Christmas, whatever. But it's like, why the fuck do we treat each other better on Christmas and then the rest of the year we're like, cunt, fuckhead, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, Merry Christmas, whatever. No, I understand that. That's good. That's great. But how about we extend that festivities all year long and just treat each other more respect or whatever. I don't know. It's just, for me, Christmas is pretty fake. It's corporate. It's a day that's been commodified. It's another religious event that's been commodified the fuck out of. And is there anything wrong with that? There's a lot. There's another video. I appreciate everyone's festive cheer, though. I do appreciate that. I just wish it would carry on year round. Whatever. But hey, that's me ranting and rambling. That's what I have for Christmas lunch. You asked for it, you got it. What did you have for Christmas lunch? And how many relatives and uncles and aunties and friends and cousins and that did you piss off on Christmas Day? So not a lot of people use Christmas Day as, or Thanksgiving or whatever, as an excuse to eat a lot of shit or whatever. Excuse to eat, oh, I, I eat what, on Christmas Day I just eat whatever I want to eat. Not as much as I want. <laughs> I do that every fucking day, every meal I eat as much as I want of whatever the fuck I want to eat. Every meal of every day. Every day is Christmas for Harley and Freely when it comes to food types and quantities. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. Went down at the hatch like a treat. Christmas lunch feast. Now I feel pretty full on this. I know in another hour or two, I feel pretty flat and good. I remember so many Christmas feasts in there back in the day, 10... Well, you know, 15 years ago, eating all that, you know, the dead animals, the Christmas turkey and all that stuff, and you just feel so shit. You're just like, oh, give me another cup of coffee so I can function. I can stay awake and listen to the stories. I don't want to fucking be here, but this is boring as fuck, but the food was good. Give me some drugs. <laughs> Crazy. 
crazy. Now, don't have to deal with any of that bullshit anymore. It's all good. It's all good. You just got to eat what you want to eat, man. Life's so short. Life is so fucking short. I don't eat anything ever that I regret. Every single thing I eat is because I want to eat it. Never eat anything in regret. Maybe at the start you're going to do that, right? You're going to make you know, learn what you can, what, what you like and stuff. But after a while, I've been vegan 13 years now, I never eat anything I regret. Because I've had so much experience and I learned from lessons that I never, ever eat anything that I regret, ever. I can't. I've got such a, a good goal of nutrition and I've got such a sustainable backup plan. I'm always like just getting gold or silver nuggets when it comes to nutrition. I'm never going for that all or nothing approach and just poof, collapsing and eating, oh, I ate some cashews, I ate some almonds, oh, it's raw though, but I feel like shit. Done that. Been there. I don't have to make, make, make that mistake again. Made it too many times already. Oh, I feel sati satisfied, satiated, banana feast for Christmas lunch. If someone said to me 15 years ago, you're going to be having bananas, banana smoothie for lunch on Christmas dinner, Christmas day, Christmas lunch, 2013. And you're going to be sharing that Christmas dinner across the world on YouTube, on the internet. I'll be like, what the fucking drugs are you on, brother? Isn't it crazy how life works out? But my bottom line message to people, I'm 36 years old now. I'm learning more and more every year. Every month I'm learning more about myself, more about other people, more about life itself. I don't have all the answers. don't pretend to. do have a lot of experience, though, for my little self. My tip, again, do whatever the fuck you want to do in life. Life is short. Live for yourself and the greater good of humanity, the planet and the animals. Merry fucking Christmas. And remember, Christmas is every fucking day. Live hard, carve the fuck up, respect yourself and others.